welcome to Avanos virtually. Uh, so today we're going to talk about, in the video you saw, Prime 10 Oil. Uh, we spend a lot of time sourcing our milk from various parts of New England, and we try to make sure that it meets the grade Prime, which is the highest grade. The biggest part about Prime is the maturity of the animal. So it's raised a little longer, develops a lot more flavor because of that. And then also it has a, a high level of intramuscular fat, which most people know is marbling. And the higher that marbling, the, the more likely it's going to meet the grade Prime. Um, we sell just prime beef. We do sell local grass-fed grain finish and just grass-fed as well. We also sell some other beef, uh, Japanese wagyu from Japan, but mostly we stick with the prime grain. Um, so when you're buying a steak, you're thinking about what cut to use. Uh, the midsection of the animal, so if you think about just like your torso and up to your shoulder, those would be the most tender cuts. And starting on the back, it's gonna be where you get your most tender cuts. So your shoulder section is your chuck, a little bit below that to the shoulder blade is you're gonna be your ribeye, Following out at the bottom of your torso is going to be your good old neo strip. In the very hip section, what we call the round of the top round area. The tenderloin is, is really in the midsection of the actual animal, and because of that, it doesn't really move a lot. It does an extreme amount of tenderness, but also doesn't have as much flavor. So you'll see a lot of times in the video, you may have seen like a cream sauce with walnuts and things like that. That's because you want to incorporate some level of flavor. When you're dealing with a New York strip, which is right next to it, but gets a little bit more movement because it's next to the hip, you're going to find that it has more flavor, and the ribeye is going to have more flavor but a little bit more fat content. So that's kind of the gist of it. Now, in the sourcing of the animal, uh, the way how we source here is we just we work with small farms, and we we one batch, so we go to the farm. <coughs> Two, we also um, make recommendations based on what we're receiving. So. After that first initial six to a year and a half time frame, that's when we really get in our sweet spot with farms and they kind of know what we expect. And they also get to know what the standard is for a high quality butcher shop. 